Russia's Air Force still flying missions at a high pace. We saw more than a dozen strike aircraft and fighters take off within only a few hours. A top Russian general says they're intensifying pressure on ISIS. Russian aviation was at work today in Raqqa, he says, also in central Syria and Deir Azor. In total, Russian aviation carried out 87 sorties in the past four days. While the Russian Air Force has withdrawn several aircraft in the past months, it's ramped up other assets, deploying advanced Mi-28 gunships that have already seen combat action. Despite Russia's announcement that it would withdraw most of its forces from here from Syria, they maintain a fleet of strike aircraft and fighter jets showing that Russia is still very much capable of playing a decisive role in the Syria conflict. The Russians took us to what they say was the signing of a local reconciliation agreement near the town of Hama. Russian military brass say they're working closely with the U.S. to also make a ceasefire in Aleppo work to finally halt the bloodshed there. The general says so far cooperation with the U.S. has been positive. The coordination of our air operations is going well, he says. In the past month and national reconciliation, frank and professional contacts have been established. We share a lot of information. On May 9th, Russia will mark its national holiday, marking the defeat of Nazi Germany. A parade will also be held at the airbase, even featuring Syrian troops. But while Russia celebrates past victories, a clear end to its intervention in Syria's civil war still seems elusive. Fred Plaikin, CNN at the Hamaymim Air Base, Syria.